Los Vogel Show Up. Today's July 31st, 2018. And um, I got this word from the Father this morning at about 7.29 a.m. And I wrote it down. So I'm basically just going to read it. So you can just meditate on what he's telling us. All right. I have seen you, my love, holding back the tears from the brokenness of your heart. I too know what it feels like to have my heart broken too. You think because I am God that I do not weep for the many souls that will perish just because they choose another path to follow. Although I keep my emotions in control, I feel every hurt and sorrow that you, my creation, goes through. I chose to come into man so I would be part of your suffering. Think for a moment. Did I have to pour my spirit into your heart? Could I have not remained from a distance rather than become one with you? I, from my throne room in heaven, decided that I needed to be with you and in you after the fall, even though I knew evil would be there at every turn to tempt you. I had to send my only son into the world to save it. And while I, uh, while I wait for time to be up and the return of my son, I suffer with you. You do not realize that I feel every tear you shed and the drops may fall to the ground, but the sorrow reaches up to my heaven. I promise you, my love, that things will be fixed, but for now, hold on tight to my son, my spirit, and me, your father, for the evil one is about to take his last stand before he falls. This life is about trust and true love, and whether or not you love my son with all that you are, are you his bride? His bride will be faithful until the very end, because she will just love him for who he is, not for what he can do for her. True love looks for nothing in return, but receives everything she desires, because one will not abandon the other, ever, and will reach out to fulfill each other's needs. My body, my church, the bride for Yeshua will become one in this love that I speak of. It is the purest source of power and trust you could have. Nothing can stand against true love and prevail. If allowed my son to take it allowed my son to take his place on the cross and set you free. It allowed us to place our spirit within you, knowing we would have to watch you fall on your face many times in life. It allowed me to watch my only son suffer so you could be free. It allows me to continue to be patient while I wait for souls to be saved. My love will allow me to destroy all evil, even though some of it is my own creation, made in my image, but chose to have the likeness of my enemy. Your strength, my love, will also come from true love for each other that comes from me. Time to pick up your cross and walk in my kingdom and finish this final work I have for you to do, which is to show the world who I am by example. Can you love me that way, my child? Can you love without judging? Finally, can you love me without focusing on your life, but focusing on my will for you? Can you trust me enough to know that all things are working together for your good, even when you do not understand? Can you reach out and show others that I am love by accepting who they are and realizing that becoming like my son is a process of learning and growing spiritually and to point the fingers does not help but make someone feel rejected? Rejection is the biggest factor that makes people not accept who I am. They feel they cannot be my child because they have failed when in fact this is opposite of true love. True love never fails. And I am true love and will never fail in my love for you. Believe it and receive it and walk in it and share it to the entire world for your redemption is closer than you know and the clock is ticking down and the escalation of events will begin and you will see how serious the times you are in. Love your father who art in heaven. That's what I got. Go back and watch it again and again if you have to 
to listen what the Father has just said to us. Basically, what he's telling us is true love never fails. And we are supposed to walk in that true love. We're supposed to believe it for ourselves, and then we're supposed to bring it to others. That's the whole Christian walk. To follow Jesus, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Let go of the world, follow Jesus into his kingdom, and love one another. And let healing take place everywhere it needs to be in our person. And in those that you meet, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover, the Bible tells us. Cast out demons. This is the work we're supposed to be doing because we have the job of destroying the works of the devil, just like Jesus did. He handed it over to the disciples when he left, which handed it over to the next generation and the next generation, and it's been put right into our hands to bring the message of Jesus the salvation message of Jesus to the world by laying on of hands for healing, by praying for the sick for healing, and by loving one another with all that we have been given from the Father. The oneness that we have with him is supposed to be brought to the entire world without any condemnation whatsoever, without any judgment whatsoever because the Father is the judge and only he sees the true heart of every person and every sin that they're living in and why they're in it and how to get them out of it. So our job is to pray without ceasing so that they can be freed from the bondage that the devil has put on them. So I'm Lois Vogel Sharp and keep the prayers going. Don't forget the safe havens. We're in the process of purchasing the land. We're just waiting to go to contract. And we'll be doing everything we need to do on that property. And it all depends on what you do to make these safe havens come to pass. The task falls on God's people. Whatever ministries need to get finished, whatever messages need to get out, it falls on God's people to do it before Jesus returns and before the rapture. So it's all in our hands of what we are called to do. And we need to do it. Every bit of it. Down to getting on our knees before the Father in diligent prayer, praying for the world, praying for the country, praying for souls to be saved, praying for people to be delivered from the enemy. That's what we need to do because we are truly, truly, truly brothers and sisters. And if we don't meet each other in this world, we will meet each other in the air when we get raptured as the church of Jesus, the bride of Jesus. So, that's what it's all about, love. So I'll see you when he sends me back again. And have a blessed day. And I want to thank everybody that's been giving and helping. And the little gifts that you send me. I appreciate every bit of it. Me and Gary appreciate everything you do. Everything you do. Somebody sent me the other day. They said to me, I have no money. They sent me two sticky pad things. that You know, you pull them off and you write things on them. They sent it in an envelope. They said, this is what I have to send you. I said, you know what? I ran out of them. I didn't have any left. So it was what I needed. So even down to something so simple like that, like somebody sending me the purse, the pocketbook they made for me, my pocketbook fell apart. I was ready to have to buy another one. And here it comes in the mail. Somebody sent me towels way back. Said, God told me to send you towels. Well, my towels were all falling apart. So it's amazing how the Spirit of God knows our needs. And when you listen... He will fulfill each other's needs. That's why in the book of Acts, they all lived in a community together. Nobody lacked anything. They didn't care about houses. They didn't care about their land because they all had a place to live. God made the way for everybody. And they all were in one mind and one accord, following Jesus and the, and, and the message that he put out. It was absolutely an amazing period of time when they just didn't care about the world except Jesus and being brothers and sisters. That's what God's bringing us back to. Because as things escalate, that's what's going to be important. Being together in one mind and one accord in places of safety where we're going to have the water and the food and the supplies that we need. So it's something to seriously think about and pray about. The safe havens that are all being built across the world. So... I'll be back when he sends me back again. And God bless you.